I think anything that surprises you, anything that engages your attention, and whether those elements are that you are, you know, uh, afraid or funny or suspenseful, anything that it makes you engage to get to the end of the story, I think is probably a good story. I remember watching Star Wars for the first time and looking around the theater and everyone was freaking out and I was probably like seven, eight years old. And I remember thinking, this is ridiculous. This could never happen. And, and being furious that everybody was so engaged by it. And then I remember like watching like within like a couple months, Annie Hall. And there was this like little nerdy guy with glasses that was talking to the camera. And I'm like, yeah, this speaks to me. I don't know if this is the greatest story, but I will tell you that I recently, because of my children, become very engaged by the whole Harry Potter franchise. And, and the way that she tells that story through the series of books and, and the different uh, evolutions of it as it sort of ages with the kids um, and the elements of, of fantasy and family and um, suspense and, and coming of age, it's like, th that's a pretty, pretty impressive yarn that she's telling because of the fact that she's able to marry so many different ideas and themes and tell this sort of sprawling canvas that is imaginative and has wish fulfillment and really appeals to that sort of dreamlike quality, both in children, for children, but in adults watching it and remembering sort of what it was like to, to be a kid and to dream like, what if the world was really like that? Where one day your ticket came and it was like, you're a wizard and you get to go there. I think that's a really amazing contemporary, like, you know, story that she's telling.